names will keep on coming to mind. The excellence will keep on coming to mind. The virtues will keep on coming to mind. The contributions will keep on coming to mind. The achievement of your forefathers will keep on coming to mind. Indeed, these were the ummatis of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They elevated the name of Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wherever they went in the globe, whether they were traveling in some desert or in the thickness of some jungle, all of a sudden, people now when they saw these people or because of what they were and because of what they had achieved my friends all of a sudden people now were interest interested in allah and his rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam all of a sudden people wanted to know okay, who are these people what are these muslims what do they believe in who is this man muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is this being that they call allah and who for whom they prostrate five times a day because my friend these believers were no ordinary believers. These believers didn't have an inferiority complex. These believers aimed high. For them, it was wasabikun as sabikun. It was all about being the foremost because they knew those that are the foremost in this world, they will be the foremost in the next world and they will be closest to Allah. And as a result, Sariu ila maghfirati mi rabbikum. They were not working day and night for themselves. They were working day and night towards the Akhirah. And they were striving because they knew those that strive, their striving will be appreciated. And for this, they sacrifice everything they possess. Their wives, their families, their children, their properties, their wealth. Overcoming every obstacle, overcoming everything that came their way. A fire burned in their hearts, which did not let them rest till they excelled, till they became world leaders, till they be became the torch bearers, the beacons, the lighthouses and the pioneers. Look at their determination, their zeal, their spirit, their eagerness when it came to any aspect of the deen. Any aspect of the deen. When it came to reciting the Quran, you know that book that's inside your house that was supposed to be a means of guidance for all of us that was supposed to bring us happiness in this world and the next world you know that very book which is now covered with dust and you open only in the book, book, uh, month of Ramadan and then you open and you look at it and then you realize that you're struggling to read it and then you close it there were ummatis of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam such was their zeal and himmat that, would they, that, that they would recite the entire Quran in seven days and they were number in their hundreds of thousands. For some even this was not enough. And they would recite the entire Quran in three days. And they would number their thousands. And there were people like you and me who had families, who had children, who would work and who would provide for their families and children. For some even this was not enough. And they would recite the entire Quran in one day. My friends, it gets better. There were ummatis of Rasulullah sallallahu wasallam, the likes of Ali al-Azdi, who would come from uh, Maghrib Salah. And after Maghrib Salah, he would open the book of Allah. And he would begin, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem, Bismillahi rahmani rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, Ar-Rahmani rahim And he would not stand from that place in which he was sitting till he recited the entire Quran. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil nas, malikin nas, ilahin nas, min shari al-waswasir khan nas, alladhi yuwaswis fi sudur nas, min al-jinnati wa nas. And then, there were the companions of Rasulullah, would work a hard day and graft whether it was in the fields or whether it was in the market and then during the night they would come and they would stand before their creator the likes of Usman ibn Affan the likes of Tamim Dari the likes of Saeed ibn Jubair and they would say Allahu Akbar and they would begin Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim and they would not go inside Ruku till they read the entire Quran